Hello everyone. Today I am going to make a program uh, to uh, reduce bandwidth usage of my uh, web-based game that I develop. Uh, so you wonder what is that about? Recently I was checking my uh, website speed with uh, developers Google.com uh, feature, which is page inside. Uh, let me open it as English. Okay, so I am uh, the developer of Monster MMORPG game, uh, which is a browser based game. Uh, you see this one. So I was checking uh, the speed analysis of my website on PageSpeed Insights, and I have discovered that uh, there is a new uh, image format uh, which significantly reduces the image size. Uh, that the image size of PNG or uh, JPEG. I am pretty sure you already know of PNG or JPEG. So you see, uh, the suggestions it is making is serve images in next generation format, which is JPEG 2000, JPEG XR or WebP. So in order to convert images on my website to WebP, uh, I am going to develop a software okay uh, so this will be a real uh, software that i will be using for my uh, projects for my personal projects and i wanted to, to uh, record it so that you can also benefit from it so let's start with uh, visual studio okay and let's uh, compose a new project create new project I'm going to use a uh, VPF.NET framework. You can also use .NET Core as well. It is fine. Uh, so the version will be uh, 4.8. And I'm going to pick um, desktop as a, a development place. So let's name it as convert to WebP. Okay. And let's create a con uh, project. I also have downloaded uh, my static images from my web server. You see there are thousands or tens of thousands of images. Uh, so manually converting them to WebP is ex would be extremely painful. Okay, so uh, in order to convert images into WebP, um, I am going to use the WebP we can develop from uh, Google WebP exe. Uh, so let's go to the download page, and you see there is a C WebP encoder tool. Uh, it has some options and such. So we are going to call this exe from a command window and convert our images. Okay. So let's start with uh, downloading it. Uh, where do we? Okay, there is download repository here. And from here, we are going to download latest version. You see, they have so many versions, which is 1.2.0. And here, uh, this one, Windows uh, X64. Uh, Okay, and then there's our software uh, exists here. So we are going to use CWebP exe. Uh, so let's open our uh, debug folder here and extract it. CWebP here. Okay. All right. And let's start with uh, initiating button. So this will be start converting. Name will be DTM button convert to P. Okay. And let's compose click event here. So uh, first of all, we need to have a, a source directory and an output directory. Uh, let's also name our project to yes, convert the P. OK. 
Okay. Okay. So where is our source directories? To have that, let's define private static string as our source directory. Okay, so my source directory will be here, uh, my uh, static uh, source. There are, you see, a lot of uh, different files. Um, so I will give this as my source. Of course, there will be type of images that cannot be converted to WebP. Okay, like this. Probably those would uh, throw an error. Okay, um, so this will be our source directory. So where I want the output to be. Uh, I want output to be in uh, desktop. So let's say converted images. Okay. Okay. SR output directory. You see, you can make this uh, totally, uh, totally uh, dynamic as well. Taking the source directory from user with a, a directory picker uh, and output directory as well. But currently, I am not going to spend extra time for that. So. First of all, we need to scan all of the images inside our uh, source directory. Let's start with uh, scanning the extensions, what kind of files we have in our directory. To that, we are going to add using system.io, which is input output. And I'm going to use directory uh, get files. So we will get source directory and our search pattern will be like this and search option will be all directory so it will also scan the um let's say um inner folders so this will return you see a string array which will include files files i am going to Put this inside another method so we can call it only one time private void uh, get file extensions okay so inside these files we are going to get file extensions we are file name and i think we can get file info var info equal to New file info which takes file name as this. From this, I think we can get uh, extension of file. Uh, we are info dot extension here yeah, here. Okay, so which extensions do we have in our folders? I'm going to put that inside an headset. Okay. Let's name it as. And let's just add it to the extension at their file info dot extension. Is this a string or what? Yeah, this is a string. Okay. Then we will write it into a file. File write all lines. Okay. And path will be found file extensions dot txt. So the content will be has found extensions. Okay. However, since I have so many files, I would like to see the process. Okay. So let's add a uh, first a label here and I will name it as um, maybe a process and I will access uh, this with a dispatcher so let's also have static void uh, set process label in SR message okay this will use uh, label 
Okay, you see, I am not able to access Libya process by in a static uh, method because it is it is in a main window and dispatcher begin invoke. Okay, this have some sign text that still I am not memorized. So let's see the sign text from here quickly um yeah it takes action yeah like this okay so here libya process this place is begin invoke new action so this will set process content equal to sr message so it takes a, a self-executing action like this okay and for this to work, I need to have task factory. I need to start this. Uh, uh, I mean, for my interface to be responsive and fully, end, I need to start this process as a, a new task. Okay. Uh, here I will uh, call this method as a task. Okay, and let's have a counter zero. And as we read uh, the pro uh, the file, so we can uh, person actually the divider is equal to zero. We will update the uh, label. So how many files we have? File count will be equal to convert to level. Uh, we are files count actual length since the single dimension array we can use length and the message will be um, okay let's say um, read file or of the okay file count or let's say processes file uh, file info process person will be equal to as libya counter okay uh, and zero over total count which is libya file count okay here think and then we can also display the percent as okay where is the problem here yeah the problem has to be like this and the percent will be equal to over file count this um ring and two person yeah so why do i use uh use uh divider uh, because uh if i don't use this uh it would uh take a lot of uh cpu time to try update label too frequently uh okay everything looks fine let's start without debugging so it will run faster okay it, it was already too fast so every file is opened let's see which kind of extensions we have okay we have xls htm echo html config and okay so this is a file format that we would like to process so we are going to process um PNG, uh, GPX, and this PNG. You see, it's a bigger case at PNG. Uh, so we need to lowercase them. And yeah, so PNG and GPX, that's it. No other file format. However, there is a case uh, where I have animated uh, PNG files, APNG and the uh, cweb exe is not available uh, to 
process uh, animated pages so i will also have a um, i will have a, a, a exception for them okay so i am going to commit this out because we already learned the existing file extensions now i can start coding okay so um call it so private void start processing so what this method is going to do is first it will get all files in a uh, source directory let's also have list okay string uh, lst process allowed extensions so let's uh, also have them as a string so the allowed extensions are um, gpx and uh, png okay i will bypass the other file formats i can also convert uh, gif images i think so for gif images we need to use let's open the file folders okay we can use gif to webp yeah okay i am not sure which options they take so we need to experiment with this uh, before starting let's experiment with it okay so i have already my command um gif to webp okay example so it takes options input file gif and now it puts file yeah that's it what else the options are lossy mixed q float okay i have q float as 100 already mean size It uses loads of compression by particular command. Okay. By default. Mm. Encode me. okay we can also include this mean size m int what is this i think i will manually convert them out hmm loop compatibility Okay, Lucy, Lucy quality is 70, mean size. Okay, um, what does this option do? I am not sure. Let's get some more information regarding that. Okay. Let's look for mean size. Actually, the option was like this here. Hmm. Uh, we can check the help page of uh, web p which is where it where was it git repository they have some mailing list perhaps here yeah 
So here I already have asked a question here. So mean size. Okay, let's see. I see so we can use mean size okay it is not very important right now so first we will scan all of the uh, files okay uh, like here and then we will scan the files let's say we are source files uh, we will scan the files in uh, output direct directory all right um so output directory we are uh, target files okay and this will use output directory and then we will uh, get which files are not processed in order to do that uh we need to do a check so this is an uh, array so i will make this into a list so that i can remove them like this and this will be also a list okay so um i also need to have extra list here yeah. Yeah, so okay. Actually, this doesn't have to be list. Okay, we are targets, files, real uh, paths. So this will be we are target files uh, dot select. Yeah. We are replace as our output directory this. So what will this do? With this approach, I will be able to compare which files are already processed or not. So our application will be able to restart. Uh, we are uh, source files real paths. Okay, it will be like this. Okay. And then uh, we are going to have this. Okay. Mm, list. Link. Okay. Um, we are files to process. It will be we are target files paths um what was it except yeah and except takes another enumerable list so source and target yeah it will be like this okay and then we will get it as a list okay and then uh, we will get this as select yes okay source directory plus yes. oh we don't need this yeah we don't need this okay so now that we have 
obtain it um, our files we can use parallel for each okay so parallel for each has some uh, special formats okay parallel uh, for each it uses a source which will be this then it uses an action i'm not sure how was the format let me find it so that we can have a uh, multi-threading yeah something like this we also need a parallel option appear options like this pair options dot or oh, let's make it pay options key options okay that max degree of parallelism let's make it eight i have 16 core cpu by the way and it will be enumerating inside your file to process okay and inside this i will call another method private void um process single file it will take as our original path like this and i also need to provide the parallel option here so we are file name okay it will start this file as a new process yeah by the way this may change so let's assign it to local but it shouldn't change yeah yeah never mind it and here uh, we are going to start a process command line process so it will use process now start so it takes file name arguments username password okay so process starts takes file name and in order to achieve that we need to also have an id so to have uh, concurrency let's say private static let's make it as ir file counter will be zero integers and with each file we will have interlocket we will use interlocket method this is for achieving concurrency okay how we're gonna do that is okay interlocket increment have your file counter then let's define the file name file name will be equal to unlocked read file counter i am thinking that can there be same file name uh actually instead of interlocket i will use a private locking object yeah yeah not this one let's also define it private static object okay obj let's say lock for file name object so i will lock this object to increment my file counter and compare file name lock okay lock file name file
okay it appears that i have forgotten to unpause the video so what i did is i have written a piece of code to uh test before that let me one okay sorry about this uh confusion um what i did is when i have um, forgotten to unpause the video is simply i have uh, coded a test button and the test button is using uh, our origin static file cmd and uh, gif file cmd and i also fixed something in gif file cmd which is i have removed the uh, loses command because it was giving an error now they are working i am using a wait for exist so let me show you how it works okay okay let me start test so the first process is started it is taking some time because that image is pretty big then it is starting the other one and now they are generated okay so uh, you see original file is 820 uh, kilobytes and let's see how much uh, did we uh, gain okay so 820 minus uh, 572 over 820 you see 30 percent gain we have in this file it is significant and it has zero difference how can i be so sure about that we can be sure about that with a comparison okay so i'm going to only make a single uh, line of single pixel of difference here on this webp file and i will save it as a test on my desktop here as a png so i will name it as test 2 png okay and then i will uh, save my original file as test png on the desktop here then i will use online comparison website let me show you uh, compare image difference okay there are several pages for that so first try with diff checker diff checker is awesome website believe me okay so when i see check the difference there is a single line of difference here on this image uh so how they achieve this i wonder yeah so here uh when i hover and when i zoom in okay like this you see there is a single line a single pixel of difference here and no other differences it is exactly the same and let's compare with another website okay online div so first image and the second image so i will make the fusion is zero and it will show up as a red color okay so on this image there is a single pixel difference here which is what i have made and there is no other red dot okay so i can copy this image to zoom in so you see there is no other red dot because they are exactly same except the single line single pixel that i have made myself so basically we gain 35 percent uh, 30 percent uh, size in this image and on this gif image uh, we gained uh, from minus uh, to 26.9 over um, this 35 percent you see with on the gif image we gain 35 percent and let's test if they are working or not so this is our webp gif and this is our uh iconic uh, gif uh, this is original gif file and this is webp file they are looking pretty much same to me uh, we can also use some uh, online uh, websites online gift to webp there is one website which i have found working very well uh, this one 
or yeah let's try this i think it was this one um so let's open our debug uh test so here are give upload it then you see there is losing compression mixed compression i unmark them and convert the webp so this website generated a little bit uh, higher kilobyte because probably it is not using the best compression and that's it okay so uh, we are able to properly convert gif and uh, static png and probably gpx as well we haven't tested gpx so let's also test the gpx For example, yeah, this wallpaper, it's pretty big. So it will probably take a lot of time. Okay, let's copy and paste this. Okay. So I will remove this, probably we don't even need it right now. Uh, what is the file name? It is this. I'm not sure if it if it can produce better than GPX because GPX is already losing uh, compression, as you know. Okay, let's try it. So all processes started at the same time because we are not waiting them and they are running right now. As they get completed, the, it will close the window. And why it takes lo so long is that we are using the best possible algorithm and let's see the output. Okay. So yes, uh, the WebP file is bigger than the original GPEG. It is because GPEG is already uh, lousy. And when I save this GPEG as a PNG, let's see the size. Okay, size of the PNG is uh, this. We can, uh, of course, optimize it a little bit more with PNG out win. And I am pretty sure there will be still significant difference between PNG version and WebP version uh, this is a software that i have purchased to optimize my png files previously but it is not anymore uh, necessary because now we can use webp a uh, format which is much better format okay um, so this uh, software is single threaded uh, on a single image so it is taking some time it has so many passes okay so the optimized PNG file is 2.53 megabytes and minus uh, 1.52 megabytes over, oh not this one. Actually since GPX files are already uh, losing, we shouldn't convert them to WebP, probably we, we cannot, we cannot achieve uh, same uh, quality I wonder if there is an loser but no point of converting GPX um, into WebP let me check that first okay okay um same quality okay hmm. for gpeg i think we need to have some loosey compression
Okay, there is tiny GPA compressor. So probably for uh, GPA compression, we need to use some other methodology. So let's see which which options we can use. Okay, let's see. Okay, so there is version lose lose near lose lose in. Hmm. So we can use near lose lose. For GPA, I think. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So which which option should be used? I'm not sure. I think I will try near losses. Yeah, let's try it with uh, so for that I'm going to have um, another file it will be for GPX for GPX I'm going to remove loseless and change it with near loseless with zero and i think i have to remove z9 as well so uh, yeah i have to remove z9 okay let's try this way for gpa Okay, and this is the file name. Okay, let's test uh, GPX SR or GPX, and let's comment out this, this, and let's make it like this. Yeah. Okay, let's see what kind of result we are going to get with GPA command. Hmm. Okay, so it is done. Oh wow, now we have a better result than original GPA. So let's compare two images quality. Of course, I am not expecting them to be same. Yeah, I can see the difference. There is already some difference. But I am not sure if we have lost some quality or not.
yeah we have lost some quality as you can see definitely and it is not small as well okay mm. i wonder if it is possible to compress gpg losing quality is this even possible i'm not sure Compressed cheap unit. Okay. Mm. Okay. Mm. So what happens if we modify um, our command file options for GPA such as this? Let's test it. I have to restart the application because it is reading that CMD file at the beginning. That uh, quality loss loss for us uh, significant. When we zoom it in, we have lost a lot of quality. So here's our GPX, and here our PNG. By the way, when you convert GPX to PNG, you don't lose any quality. So they are exactly the same. And when we convert the WebP with Luzi compression, okay, now it is bigger than that. And we probably even lost some quality. Wow, it looks almost same. Yeah, it looks like this has fixed the problem so if we make it 90 percent probably we can get almost same so 200 let's zoom same yeah looks pretty much same to me yeah almost kept everything however it is still over the original gpx so we can make it something like 95 percent Okay, let's try the 95%. Okay, still bigger than original GPA, so let's try 90%. For um, this, what it is here. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, so ninety percent didn't make much difference. Okay, so let's uh, test with default settings. So to do that, I'm just going to remove all these options. And I wonder what kind of result we are going to get. Okay, without those options, I think. Okay, it was so fast and it is now so small size. However, what kind of result we have? Wow, significant quality of loss, quality loss. Okay, let me show you. For example, uh, 1,900 zoom now you see how much detailed we have lost yeah for example here we can compare uh, the m word m letter actually okay um so let's zoom to same you see how blurry it looks when compared to this so removing options doesn't help maybe let's make both of these 95 percent i'm not sure which one of them is really does make a difference hmm. okay still bigger than the original um so let's try 90% for both. Okay, so here's still same. So let's try 85%. I'm not sure what kind of result we're gonna get wow it is bigger than g original file hmm. so maybe 80 percent Let's remove this and only keep this quality. Wow. The size is suddenly got too small. Okay, so let's make this 95%. Oh no, let's make it 100% and remove near losses and see what happens. Okay, so this is a decent size and let's have a comparison uh, with original image quality. Here's original image and here 100% quality okay from the first impression they look pretty much same so let's zoom in and see the quality okay 1000 and 1000 here okay oh i see the quality loss You see, uh, there is a loss of 
colors mm. yeah let me zoom out okay it is not very much visible when we zoom out though still there is some loss but i would say pretty insignificant yeah almost looking same which ha a very good amount of compression so let's zoom in the eye with as zoom in like this okay let's zoom here yeah I see some loss of colors. It is just the color tone is lost, I think. Not the detail itself. Let's also try online conversion. And what they um, produce. So this is the original file. And convert webp. So it has generated, I think, the same file as we have. This is the original file. Wow, this also has kept colors. Oh, this is weird. Our algorithm changes the colors, but online didn't change them. Wow, this is so wrong for us here. Yeah. Okay, I still see some difference here, here, and here. Mm. Hmm, I see. So these two are the really different ones. It is the Orient. So let's look for the options again. Options. Let's add this. Let's add this alpha. I wonder if it will make any difference. Let's make alpha 100. So we are trying to lose as minimal as possible uh, quality and achieve some. Okay, it is probably the same. Yeah, we 
colors are changing you see this is the original file and this is the webp output Okay, let's try this option. This is interesting. This is generated, right? No error. Yeah. Let's also open this tab uh, features. None of this is making any difference. The only option that make change is actually this near losses. When I make it, uh, it increases the quality, processing time, but size as well. Yeah, taking a lot of time. They are almost same size and let's see. So this is the original file. I see now you see colors are kept almost as same. Yeah. Mm. Pretty much similar. So if we reduce a little bit more the levels to 75 percent maybe we can get a smaller size yet almost same quality for gpa let's also have another test image to see if it is working or not 
Okay, game wallpaper. So from here, something big, for example. Um, okay, let's try this one. Oh, this is PNG. So let's sort by size. Oh, I see. This is the biggest one, biggest uh, GPA file I have. I wonder where I have this. Yeah, now it is smaller in size, yet probably very similar in quality. So let's open both and have 2000 zoom in. Let's make it 3000. Three thousand. Wow, almost same. Yeah, pretty much looking same. There is still uh, um, some difference. For example, this original, and this is the other one. I still see some uh, difference, though they are almost exactly same. So when I zoom in the eye, like this. Okay, yeah, pretty much looking um, same, yeah. Okay, I think we can use these settings. So let's uh, test with our... Oh, this is our biggest uh, GPA, by the way. Let's test with an another GPA. So this one... Um, I have to close this open with exe files by the way because I will be need to recompile okay so I will change uh, the name Okay, where is it? We didn't change the output. No, we did. Oh, did it have a problem? Purple GPEG and purple WebP. Wow, the software thrown error, I guess. okay this is the file it is generating what happened oh here okay uh it is uh lower in size let's compare image quality by the way these are very old images made by my players so wow almost looking same i don't see any difference let's compare an eye here yeah almost same okay so now we have our settings now we can continue pro uh, our programming okay so what we are going to do is uh, we are going to process non-processed files and uh, we have file name okay let's uh, we need to read file info so to do that let's use using file info my file equal to me file info from the 
Um, okay, um, source directory plus I think yeah with the original path. Okay, looks like file input is not implicitly disposable, so we just can use like this. And then if my file extension to string to lower is equal to png uh, string uh, string sr content of pmd will be equal to or let's make it like this um okay or original uh cmd let's assign it to sr original uh topic cmd uh, let's assign each of each one of them i will use a switch actually Okay, if list allowed extensions contains your file extension, and let's have a switch, your file extension, and case will be PNG break, and original PMD file will be like this, or GPX, it will be SR GPX file and for GIF, it will be original GIF file, yeah all right so there is still a uh, one problem that we need to solve which is converting animated uh, png file so to do that what we need to do is we need to generate another folder as output directory by the way, output directory will be converted images like this. And output, let's say as um, animated directory, it will be like this, yeah. Um, animated, or let's say animated PNG. Why I am going to have this folder because I want to save them in another folder than to process later manually. Okay, then we will generate our um, exporting folder. To do that, first we need to generate file uh, or directory create directory so directory will be um, it may automatically create the directory i'm not sure sure okay let's try it and see if it is working or not i'm not sure if it if it doesn't we will have to generate folders manually so this is our original um, uh, cmd file okay string as our content it will be equal to by um string dot format so the format will be original cmd file whatever it is then we will provide input 
so input will be my file simply actually i need to provide this path probably oh, let's provide it like this yeah and then we will have target as our um output directory plus the original path yeah and then we will start process single file or we are already inside process single file so we will just start process start oh, but first we need to write it file write all text so the file name is here uh, process start file name that's our content i also need to wait process we are as equal to this okay then uh, wait for exist then delete file so our folder won't get filled up okay that's it let's uh, start with single parallelism and which file we get oh we didn't call this yet so simply we will call as this and uh, yeah so currently we are just testing our algorithm is working or not so the original path is ability is new xls it is directly on the folder so file name is like this file extension is xls and uh, since it is not inside a load extension so we will do if check here basically return okay um so let's directly jump here okay so the file name is this one it is inside pub icons so our source directory plus path yeah it looks correct output directory that's path okay so what error did we have one moment okay we have problem oh i also need to provide sr source directory yeah now it should work okay so this is the content let's check it out so this is the path of the exe oh it has a double i think this can cause some problem This is interesting why it is written like that. Mm, maybe it is because of here. Not source directory, yeah. This is the SR working directory, yeah now let's try again so the content is yeah looking correct okay petting looking correct so you see it should automatically generate favicons folder i'm not sure if it will or not so let's start the process okay did process start no i don't see the process or it is already completed So let's check it out. No. Hmm. 
So let's try again. Okay, and now we should be able to see the CMD file here. Let's see why this is not working. Error cannot open output file. Yeah. So I have to generate output folder. How am I going to do that is. Uh, we are temp dot directory great yeah let's try this way i'm not sure if it will work or not or not test and let's see if the directory is composed yes okay this is working then okay started exited and our favicon is generated as png yeah so we have a problem with yeah i have to uh, replace original path how am i gonna do that is mm, the um this way I need to change its except, uh, extension. How am I going to do that? Is I think I can change its extension as replace. Extension with. Yeah, this should work. And I just found another problem. So I will replace that, but not only that. I also I also need to remove extension as uh, split. false then we will add it to uh, our file to process how like this mm. i also need to remove yeah i need to remove our original file path with source directory and yeah okay uh so let's start with single threaded and let's see if our application is working or not okay we have a problem So if an extension is empty, hmm. okay. So if there is no extension, then we just need to bypass it. Okay. So Okay, our modification started.
Currently it is doing 5 icons. Okay, let's let's make it make it finish 5 icons. Okay, five icons are finished. So let's control our um, process. Uh, code is working because we want our application to be continuable. Okay, so we have target as these five icons and images account icons. Yeah. So here we get modified name as abilities new and if target contains we are going to add it so we are forced to process contains all of these they should not okay 65,129 and how many we have yeah So I think, yeah, it is continuing with account items. So it has bypassed the five icons. So it is working. We can say that. By the way, we can also uh, minimize this because you see it is taking our space. So let's remove it. And we also still have one more thing. Sharp detect animated PNG. How do we identify if it is animated PNG or not? Okay. Mm. Let's say C sharp uh, check if PNG is animated. Hmm, okay. There is image magic net. I think it has some animated PNG checking. I also asked it some questions here, but RPNG Check if PNG is animated This is PHP
Is this a how to find if uh PNG is animated? Why I cannot why no one has asked this question I wonder? Okay, I think to figure it out, I will use um, an extension. Um, image magic here. Okay, so I think we can install this. And okay, magic in that. Okay, let's look for animation. Okay, let's uh, first test an animated image as for magic collection, we need to add using magic and i need to get an example animated image from my static folder images actually i don't have that so let's look it from my another website okay and Okay. I will just make a fake registration. Okay, so for example, let's test this. Say image as test okay so for this i need to provide full paths uh, working directory plus test and PNG, Yeah, I know the reason because I have to make it like this. Okay, and now 
number of images is one and here does it show channel count four how can we find out whether it is animated or not Okay, maybe this is not working. Let's look for another one. APNG Animated PNG Creator. Let's look for this package. Let's get a repo of this where it is. Mm. Okay, this is hard to find. Okay, there is a APNG and this is so old. PNG CS <coughs> Is this the same thing? Yeah
So there is an API for net imaging API. What does this do? Supported formats. Yeah, a okay, it is supported. So how does it work? Let's uh, install this aspos. Okay. Hmm. What is the full name? Aspos Imaging here. Yeah. Here, let's install it and then how do we use it? Okay, there's a code like this, and let's see what does that generate for us. Okay, so I need to set as Aspos image using. Okay, I am giving full pad. I wonder if it can read the... Okay, RGG... Okay, it is loaded, so... Okay. So you see it is uh, showing the uh, format right now as APNG image. However, this is pretty slow if you ask me. So does it show other things? There is page count, width, head, timeout, vertical resolution. file format yeah file format is apng okay um Mm. Yeah, probably I can't have that file format type. Okay, it looks like my only option is using this to determine if it is APNG or not. So I will also implement that to my logic which will be here so in case of it is png extension i will have extra code here and i will provide full path like this and if Okay, image dot file format equal to APNG. You see, there are also other types. It's pretty slow, but no way. Then I will save it to the another folder as. Like this. I'm not the same. 
right or copy yeah um the destination will be like this yeah um sr output animated directory yeah although i am not sure if this would work or not by the way i also need to compose its uh, directory so file info pg need file info okay so everything is looking like ready so let's try it by the way i will change source directory for quick testing of apng it is inside trainers here wow it's oh okay it was inside mpc trainers and currently i don't have any animated trainer here so i will get here some i will pause a bit okay now i have added some um animated images to here you see there are over eight thousand items uh so i am going to change source directory into uh npc trainers to test my apng if it is working or not and let's start converting so oh since i have clicked it it is stopped so let's close this okay mm, let's also modify our process start start minimize it how can we start it minimize it okay uh, so how do we start cmd minimize it okay there is new process file name argument mm. pet okay uh I think this can work yeah so where do we start it we start it here so we have a process start info that is like this we don't have a working directory you make it minimize it then we use our my process I will of course uh comment this out yeah now they should be minimized okay still they are getting uh you see open it like this mm. converted images okay since it is root directory taking it is being like a root director like this i mean not inside images and mpg trainers because we have changed the root directory okay uh it is pretty fast so we can just wait i will close this window and how much cpu is being used let's open task manager yeah i am at 30 30 percent right now 
I think I can even make it faster. Currently it is uh, eight or single. Let's check it out. Okay, max degree of parallelism is currently one. So let's change it to uh, let's make it three and let's see how much CPU do we use. Okay, now we are using 60. So there is still some uh, space to increase max degree of parallelism like 5. Okay, and then. Okay. So we are able to utilize most of my CPU. Okay, and currently we are not able to see the process, so let's also see the process as well. If I can stop the application. Okay, so Mm, to be able to see how many files we have processed I think we can just use file counter and yeah and how many files we have to process so I think we can display it here um, set this label and process it by our file count this may not be 100 percent precise but uh it should work okay by the way uh since it's a special character let's make it like this Wow, so many files remaining. I think it is getting processed again and again. Yeah, we have a logic problem. Yeah, the logic problem is caused by this extension. So we need to add it to our converted images as well. Now, when we restart, oh, since it is not done yet. Anyway, I know that which images are converted or not, so I will just delete most of them. We don't because we don't need most of them. They are starting from like fifteen thousand, so let's just delete them all. Okay, okay, around 3,000 is left. So what is using our CPU? Okay, all these CPU is using. Uh, okay, let's start converting. Okay, I should get into this. By the way, this image loading is also taking some time for sure. All right. They're pretty fast because these are small sized images. 
So it is expected to be first. You see they are getting ridden here. We can also compare their sides, but we have that it's yeah. Let's open the last of the folders. I think it should have come already apparently but I still don't see it. Yeah, wait. Let's put a breakpoint here to see if it is working or not. I can't even put a breakpoint here, so because you see this is getting uh, focused. Why it is not working? Well, we might have a problem somewhere around here, so let's put a breakpoint here too. Oh, we have a problem, yeah. This has to be dot .png, dot .gpx, and dot .gif, yeah. <laughs> you see, you need to, you, you may always have some problems. And now we have to restart. Okay, I also will do something else. Um, C sharp uh, command process is getting focused. I don't want that. Maybe it can be somewhere around here. Let's see. So process start info. Okay, focus. Is there any focus or something? There is create no window, yeah. Let's set this as two, I think. Default is false, yeah. Okay, now we, we should not see any window. Okay, oh, why? Oh, it was fast. So now output there animated original pet is this and let's see if it is copied or not and let's see yeah yeah very nice by the way this no window is not working Wow, it is, it is just too fast. So here, create no window didn't work. Window style. What style there are? Hidden. Oh yeah, I will use hidden. So let's remove this. Let's return back to our original hat. Like this. Okay. Wow, I don't even see the window right now. Yeah, hidden window is nice. And now I am able to even utilize weather. You see my Karspaska is also taking a lot of uh, CPU. But you see, with no window, window, I am able to utilize much more of my CPU. And I, I have converted images as well. Okay, now I will extract it, extract it again. So let's just delete all converted images. And let's delete animated images as well. And from download, I will delete this too.
and okay delete that too so let's extract here okay pretty much our software is ready um i think it will work without any error right now dot gpx dot png dot gif we have switch dot png dot gpx dot gif and we are having to lower method as well by the way i need to use to lower with new system culture info and us okay so first let's test this oh i also need to change this because now it is inside a single folder probably yeah and let's test okay so it is working now i will start without debugging to even optimize faster okay and now we can watch our converted images with inside correct folders then we can compare folder sizes to see our uh, gain we can also see the process like this let's see how much cpu guys we are pretty much utilizing all of my cpu and vpf application yeah now the processes are being also shown inside vpf application since it is starting them you see cweb main window command line console window okay five icons are done let's see how much bytes it is so it is um 988 kilobyte and let's check the original size it is uh 1063 bytes to be exact so let's compare them minus Okay, um, actually let's write it um, to find out our uh, data saving with keeping same quality. By the way, for PNG, we are using uh, lossless. Wow, it is almost 40% probably. okay so this should work oh it didn't work why oh okay see uh 36 percent we have got 36 percent uh bandwidth save uh with this approach for example this is also done and when you use parallel for each it doesn't follow the exact order of items inside that list so it will get updated i mean its order will be different okay now this can work until morning because it will take a lot of time uh, i'm going to end the uh, video here i hope that you have enjoyed uh so this application will uh solve my problem currently so far so far i have failed to uh, i have failed uh, to find a solution to programmatically convert apng into web uh, so i will use uh, this website uh, to convert them because this website is working yeah uh to manually convert but i am looking for answers for example i have asked it in um, 
magic net uh, github here uh, they have a discussion forum here you see i have asked this but no answers yet um, i'm looking for a solution uh, actually uh, the google is even google is not supporting that uh, so you see we are using um, currently uh, we are using uh, cweb however cweb is also not supporting apng i have asked it in their uh, forum as well uh, which is let me find here map mailing list uh, i have asked uh, how to convert animated and uh, so still no easy solution since i don't have that many apng i plan to convert them with this website but probably if it supports here yeah, it supports on a single image at a time it may take some time for me to fix it so i need a programmatic way the command says that i can uh, extract them with apng this but i will check it okay uh, end of the video i hope you have enjoyed see you later you can also ask me any questions through our discord channel i will post my discord channel link in the description of the video